Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode of my new and improved reality. It's been quite a long time since my last video. And I thought I'd do a quick and easy video on my favorite fiction of all time, One Piece. Now, there are so many topics to talk about regarding this massive verse, from devil fruits to organizations to characters to the many mysteries this world has to offer. Well, this video aims to answer one question that has been plaguing the community for quite a long time. Just how big is the One Piece world? I've seen answers from Earth size to star size to even galaxy size. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. So I thought I'd just throw my own hat into the ring and see what people think of my own theory. So first off, what do we actually know about the One Piece world? Well, it's a sphere split in half by two lines, the red line and the grand line, creating north, west, east, and south blues. I've calculated the size of the planet in the past using the size of the Grand Line, which used the size of Sandy Island, which used this one quote from Vivi saying the river in the middle of the island is 50 kilometers. But the methodology was... less than amazing, and I subsequently threw that scaling in the garbage. And... That scale was made many years ago, and since then we've gotten many chapters, with one containing a scan that caught my eye. Five islands in the world? <laughs> That's nonsense. What? You could start counting islands and not finish until you're past 10 or 20 million. Huh? You didn't know that? This world's a huge place. Oh, and for the record, the Japanese version says basically the same thing. Sekai ni shima ga itsutsu? <laughs> Bakaye! Eh? Shima no kazu nante i ichi sen man mo ni sen man mo sumane. Huh? Shirare no ka? Sekai wa hiroin da yoi! With those three panels, my mind went wild with methods on how to scale the planet again. And after brainstorming for about 20 minutes or so, I determined this methodology. Let's get calking. Okay. So first off, the exact wording is, you could start counting islands until you're past 10 or 20 million. As such, I'll use 20 million islands as a safe lowball. Oh, and first I should probably talk about the credibility of the statement as smart people will question whether or not he would actually know this for a fact. Although we don't really know much about Marco, we do know one thing. He enjoys cartography and geography. And how do we know this? Thanks to his Viver card, we know that during his childhood, or Kodomo no Koro, he studied nautical maps and was very interested in the subject. The following is stated Yoshoki ni kaizu no benkyo mo shiteori, sento igai ni chishiki demo tayo sasaete ita. This translates to, he also studied nautical charts when he was a child and supported the group with knowledge as well as combat. So, a man passionate about cartography and maps, and likely the main navigator of a Yonko crew, that's quite the reliable source in terms of information about One Piece's geography. With that over and done with, let's move on to the actual methodology of the calc. First, I will be taking the average size of our world's islands and multiply that size by 20 million to get the minimum amount of space needed for the islands to exist on the planet. So, this is what I did. I went through this entire list of islands, recorded every single one of their sizes on an Excel file, and found their average. Oh, and by the by, all my sources are linked in the description if you're at all curious. Anyways, the value came out to be 30,062 squared kilometers. Now all we have to do is multiply that number by 20 mil. Bada bing, bada boom. And the answer comes out to 601,240,000,000 squared kilometers of land mass. Now let's look at the One Piece Planet world again. Eyeballing the size of the red line leads me to believe that it takes up about 15% uh, of the planet's surface area. This would leave about 85% of the space to be taken up by island land mass and actual, you know, water. Given that One Piece is a lot more water than our planet, and our planet is around 71% water, let's use 90% of the 85% as water. 
This means that 15% of the One Piece planet is the red line, 76.5% of it is water, and 8.5% of it is actual island landmass. Now, let's do some magic and turn these percentages into actual numbers. If 8.5% equals 601,240,000,000 squared kilometers, 1% equals this number. If 1% equals that number, then 100% equals this number. Using this wonderful sphere calculator, we would have... A surface area of 5 quintillion 110 quadrillion 540 trillion squared meters. A volume of 1 octillion 768 septillion 956 sextillion 790 quintillion cubic meters. A radius of 750,256,105 meters. A diameter of 1,500,512,210 meters. And a circumference of 4,713,998,140 meters. Looking at these numbers, this would mean that the One Piece planet is around 84% the size of our sun. Now, your average calculator would probably stop right here, but not this guy. As you can see, there's still a lot more of the video left, as I was not satisfied with just this. Because there's yet another way to calc the size of the One Piece planet, one that is more accurate since it's not as assumptive, and uses not only what One Piece has stated, but shown. Okay, the first thing I should make clear is that in One Piece, Islands are very, very far apart. And we know this for two reasons. One, we have never seen another island from another island's perspective, no matter how high we were. Two, this reason is even more accentuated because of Long Ring Long Land. Long Ring Long Land is actually one ring-shaped island whose peaks become separated into 10 smaller islands. However, these quote-unquote islands are separated so far from one another that we don't see them at their horizon even dozens of meters in the sky. And this is just another part of the same island. It's not even a separate island. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'll use the minimum distance between the peaks of Long Ring Long Land or the distance to the horizon, and apply that distance to how far apart all islands in the One Piece world are. To do this, I'll be using this formula right here. Horizon distance in kilometers equals the square root of 2 times the height of the point of view times the radius of the planet in kilometers. I'll be using this scan to get the height of the POV, and for the radius, I'll be using the one I got earlier, as that's around how big the One Piece planet is at bare minimum, given everything the narrative has told us. Lucky for me, the lovely Wade Strine pixel scaled the tree height for me. The tree height is approximately 203 pixels, average pirate is 8 pixels. Average man is 1.76 meters, so let's do some quick algebra. 1.76 divided by 8 gives us 0.2 meters per pixels. 203 times 0.22 gives us a tree height of around 44.66 meters. As we are far above the trees in the POV, we'll go with 75 meters in the air for a decent lowball. Now we get to the actual horizon distance formula. Square root of 2 times 75 times 750,256.105 kilometers gives us 10,608,412 point blah 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 meters. This is the distance between the peaks of Long Ring Long Land. As I mentioned before, we'll use this as a lowball for the average distance between all the islands. For what exactly? Well, this is a pretty weird method of getting the total amount of water surface area, but bear with me please. I'm going to order the 20 million islands in a way that can determine the water surface area of the planet. I'm gonna do this by creating a rectangle in which the distance between the islands is the length and the sum of the islands' is diameters is the width. Using the average island size I got earlier, I'll get the average diameter of each island. Simplifying things and assuming the islands are all circle shaped, I'll use this calculator to get a diameter of 195,642.856 meters. 
Multiplying the diameter to the number of distances gets me 3,912,857,315,642.856 meters. This is our width. Before I go on, I need to make a tiny but very important adjustment to the length. I'll be subtracting two island diameters worth of length from the total length as we're looking for water area, not water and island area. This makes our actual length 10,412,769 blah 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 meters. Now let's finally get that water surface area. Multiplying these two numbers gives us this large as hell number. This is our water surface area, or percentage-wise, our 76.5%. So let's get our new and improved 100%. If this equals 76.5%, 1% equals this. And if that equals 1%, 100% 1 equals... 53 quintillion, 259 quadrillion, 714 trillion, 867 billion, 858 million, 815,359... <gasps> 0.42 squared meters. Man, <laughs> with my heart condition, saying such a long number really takes the wind out of me. <clears throat> Anyways, putting all this in the sphere calculator, we get the following stats for the One Piece planet. A surface area of 53 quintillion, 259 quadrillion, 714 trillion, 867 billion, 858 million, 815,359.42 squared meters. A volume of 36 octillion, 548 septillion, 711 sextillion, 300 quintillion meters cubed. A radius of 2,058,706,740 meters. A diameter of 4,117,413,480 meters. And a circumference of 12,935,235,900 meters. Using the planet parameter calculator and inputting the diameter in kilometers, 1g, and 75 meters for the height of the observer, we get a mass of 622 octillion 900 septillion kilograms. To put in perspective just how big the One Piece world is, it's over 8.77 times bigger than our sun. So that means that destroying the One Piece planet is at least star level, right? Right? Well, no, not at all. Math is rarely that simple, especially at this level. What we need to do now is determine the GBE of the planet. GBE, or gravitational binding energy, is basically how much energy you need to break something that is gravitationally bound together apart. Like, say, all the particles that make up planet Earth, causing all the particles to break apart while making sure the gravity doesn't pull them right back together takes a lot of energy. In fact, this much. Now let's see how much it would take to do that to the One Piece planet. Let's pull out that good old GBE formula. U equals 3GM squared over 5R, where G is the gravitational constant, the number thing right here, M is the mass of the celestial body, and R is the radius. The entire equation becomes this number, but the number is kind of big. So let's just simplify it to 1.8 tenatons. Yeah, it's a lot easier to say. Alas, it doesn't quite make it to dwarf star level, let alone star level, but that just goes to show the massive difference in composition between a planet and a star. In conclusion, the One Piece planet is immense, as Marco said. And while it doesn't take star level energy to destroy it, it takes way more energy than it would for planet Earth. Hope you guys enjoyed this little calc of mine, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe while clicking that beautiful bell. If you're willing to help me live, you can financially support me on either PayPal or Patreon. You know, I haven't actually thought up of any perks for the latter, except for Discord server invite, exclusive videos, and early access to upcoming videos. Oh, and one more thing. If you have any ideas on what you want me to make videos on, be it how strong or fast X is, or how do you pixel scale and ang size, explain dimensions for the 29th time, go right ahead and comment what you want to see. I have video ideas in the oven, but I could always use more.
With all that said, see you guys next time.